Hey everyone, it's Alexander Robinson and welcome to the channel. So on this travel day, I am here in Long Beach, California to do Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. This is a Halloween event that has been absent for at least five years. And this is my first time doing it, so I have no idea what to expect, but I'm excited. And without further ado, let's get this trip started. So right off the bat, I made it through security. Uh, and we are going through this village graveyard in order to get to the bulk of the event. This is the start of this event and already I'm very impressed with how everything looks. And it's so quiet also. Oh yeah, that's, that's not creepy at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At the moment, it is early admission, which I did pay a little extra to do. It's about $10 on top of whatever you pay for your ticket. And it's pretty empty right now. I love the carnival setting. And there's five houses in this event. Three of them are located within the uh, Queen Mary, which has a haunted history in itself. So I'm gonna do what's open right now. So far, uh, I love the vibe. And we'll see how busy it gets once eight o'clock rolls around because that's when it opens up for everyone else. First up is the infirmary. Look at this place. It is like... Nobody's here, it might as well be a ghost town. Uh, which is fitting because here's a ghost ship. So earlier in the night when I was walking through that tunnel with the creepy man in the back, I didn't record it because I was just too scared to know what was gonna happen. So I just waited till another group walked past me to see what happened. And uh, that got a good scare out of me. Yeah? In fact, so far all the scare actors are top notch here. And makes me even more terrified of how the houses are going to be. Enjoy, watch the step. Thank you. I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh my god. God. Oh, just I'm just passing by. I have to cover my ears because I'm so scared. Oh my God. hand I'm I'm okay <laughs>
still going. happening to you, I'm, I'm leaving. It is the exit. Wait, it, there's more? Because the path goes over there. Okay, I don't know if that's the end of that house, but uh, right off the bat, uh, next time I come, because this place has impressed me enough to where I want to come back, I am taking friends with me. I am not doing this by myself because, holy crap, was that terrifying. Uh, and I. I think there's still more to go. Oh no, this is just blocked off. Okay, this is the end. So it is one thing to do just a standard haunted house in general, but when you're doing it in a park where it's mostly empty and the queue is just like dead and people are scattered around, then it gets a little tense because you're like, oh, do I catch up with all the people in front of me or do I just tough it out? Clearly I didn't tough it out because I had, was like, okay, I need to see people in front of me uh, so I'm not the one getting picked on the whole time. Uh, uh, that was great. And let's keep it going with the next one, Feast. hallway a wide hallway in fact I don't like it oh my god oh my okay I don't know where to go now like do I, I where do I go there's nobody in front. Oh my god. Ah, ah. Shh. Oh, Jesus. I have. Oh my. I assume this way. It's a tight corridor, but at least there's light everywhere. Oh, you, you might want to get that looked at. Oh. Hi. No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good.
Okay. Get in there. Normally I don't trust the guy with a chainsaw, but okay. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so, such a tight corridor. Uh oh, it was a thing. Oh. The end? I sure hope so. Oh, oh no. It's, it continues. Or maybe it ends, I'm not sure. But now I'm all alone. Okay, so that's the uh, feast house. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I am like uh, sweating in my clothes. Uh, go banana slugs. Uh, but that was, yeah, I'm definitely bringing more people with me next time. I'm gonna take a little quick break in here before we continue. We've got a Queen Mary here made entirely out of Legos. World's longest Lego brick model ship. 25 feet and 11 inches long, weighing 604 pounds. 250,000 Lego pieces. Oh, there's a cat? You know what, just to delay having to go on the next haunted house, uh, let's find this cat in that Lego uh, ship. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I don't see it. That is one lost kitty. All right, let's check out Spirits of Dark Harbor. Pretty nice, atmospheric uh, portion of the ship. I don't have to worry about people jumping out and scaring me. Because <laughs> I need a break from that for a bit. Oh boy! Oh! That was terrifying as s. <laughs> inside the ship, Lullaby. So, I'm basically waiting in line for that, and then I will have done three out of the five houses they have here. <laughs> oh, that's, un that's unsettling. <laughs> okay, so there are more people in line now that this house is open, so hopefully it won't feel like I'm all alone in this house, like I was with Feast, even though there was a couple of people behind me in that one. That was the scariest thing that happened all night. Oh, we're on again. Oh, there's little girl. She was drowning and I tried to save her, but now
god. That's... Bro! Wait! Wait! Oh my god. Good lord. Oh, no. Oh my. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm getting off this. Oh, it's the end. Oh my god. So, apologies that it got a little blurry by the end of that house. I think it was because of all the lights flashing lights it just messed up how the camera's focusing on certain elements but that was good didn't scare me as much as the other houses did feast and uh, the infirmary but that house had a straight-up collapsing bridge uh, like at Universal uh, and it was I did not see that coming at all anyway that's three houses down and then I've got two more to do let's go do those two so before going in the lullaby house, I think the reason why the horn went off on the Queen Mary was because it signaled the official opening of the event where they have the uh, Master of Ceremonies kicking things off. So I miss that. Uh, that's a shame, but maybe next year. Next up is Breakout. See a thing. Oh, God, the nun. This is nice. Great outdoor set. It's creepy, especially with all these people there that are not real. Walk more like it. Whoa, that's where I actually started my night right over there. This one? This one. Okay, that'll. We'll see you in our hopper. Okay, sounds sounds good. Oh, good lord, we're entering a coffin. Oh my god, this is so small. Oh my god. Oh wow.
a snake. Why do it have to be snakes? Oh, I love this is like in Hellfest. That's so cool. We got gators out here. is the end of the house because it's been nearly 10 minutes. Oh great, I can't see. So now that Dark Harbor is actually open, we can enter the Ringmaster's Halloween Carnival. And that brings us to the final house here, Big Top Terror. Hello. 
good lord. Huh? It is too quiet in here. Okay. There we go. Time I've done something like this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it's just so much. Hello. Uh, I'll go. I don't know where to go. I'll go this way, where the people are. Okay, I will. <laughs> Moving floors. five houses here at Dark Harbor. Now that I've done all five of those houses, uh, the ones inside the ship, the Queen Mary, are definitely the most terrifying, especially Feast, which uh, I didn't mention this, but there was a group in front of me uh, that was like, hey, you can go ahead of us. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's why there was nobody in front of me for like the last half of the maze, or majority of the last half. Breakout and Big Top Terror are definitely the more standard haunted houses that you expect from an event like this. Uh, except that Breakout goes on for nearly 10 minutes. Uh, but Big Top Terror definitely gave me vibes of Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando last year. So I dig that a lot. Another thing that really works about these houses more than, say, Halloween Horror Nights is that they're all original. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights does an amazing job with their houses, but since a lot of them are based off IPs, you kind of go into them expecting a certain thing. It can be scary at points, don't get me wrong, but you can see what's coming because you've seen the movie or you're familiar with this property. That's why last year when I went to Orlando, I gravitated towards the completely original houses because I didn't know what to expect from them. And that's exactly the vibe here for Dark Harbor. All these houses, I didn't know what to expect from them and they scared the crap out of me. So I, it was a great time. Time to say goodnight to Queen Mary's Dark Harbor and the song couldn't be any more fitting.
So Dark Harbor, I would absolutely do it again. Such a great Halloween haunt event. Uh, the fact that they have three of their houses inside the actual ship makes them even more terrifying. But next time though, I'm bringing friends with me. I'm going to be a little more prepared because there are a lot of rides and other attractions that I didn't get to do, but definitely want to do next time. Anyway, it's time for me to head back home. This was definitely worth the trip. I cannot wait to go back next year. Hopefully with friends this time because I am not enduring those Queen Mary interior houses on my own. But if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit that bell button to get a notification when a new video comes out. You can also go ahead and like this video, leave a comment down below and tell me about your experiences at Dark Harbor if you've ever been. And if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet, you can find me at Facebook, Instagram, Letterboxd, Threads, and my movie review channel right here on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a good day, take care, and safe travels.